Hey guys, this is Manak your Civil Bro. So today we'll see how to design a slab using the stat file. So stat file has already been done. The, the, the all the steps in the stat are done, and you want to design the slab in RCDC. So let's see how to do it. So first of all, you select the slab stat file, and you have to select the level in which you want to design the slab. So zero is our plane level, so three meter we want to design the slab. So we'll create new project here, and the data will obviously be imported and uh, after that i can see this are the things here and all the panels are you know automatically taken the magic of this is like this is an interior panel this has automatically taken and, and you know, as per the code you can see two adjacent side is continuous so all the conditions they will uh, you know uh, this will be uh, taken you know automatically okay so now we have to uh, yeah, you know give the thickness of the slab and all so we'll do that so okay so here we'll go to settings and design parameters so we have two bent up bars and cartel bars so you will go with cartel bars for now and the day of the bars which you want to use in the beam these are given m25 and fe 550 is our reinforcement which has been currently being used and we'll click on ok and in the uh, settings as uh, we'll just see design and this is all there is auto design okay so now uh, firstly let's just click here auto design as you can see you have to give the import load live load and obviously you have to give the thickness also so what thing things we have here uh, top of slab mm in cutout okay so first of all i'll save the file i uh, will save the file let's see this is slab save the file so that you can be able to save the drawings now import load here this is a residential building so we'll go with import load of uh, 2 kilonewton okay so copy this to and i'll just paste it here also i'll just paste it copy one you'll see of oh, let's just type two here and control plus c and select all this control plus v and slab thickness is here it is 150 mm okay copy this select all this control plus v so 150 mm has been selected okay so now as you can see now we just click on design so as you can see the slab has been designed here so you can see the grade and bottom steel and the top steel so you can see here so first of all you can just see uh, modify design modify detail so you can modify anything if you want to change the reinforcement and all you can modify so we'll go to uh, okay just accept this design so this one is accept accept this design now uh, we'll go to reports and we'll go to text schedule yes we want to group similar steps and you can have the text schedule so these are the steps which are grouped so obviously this is the input and in which you will find these lab numbers s1 s2 and you can save this file always in autocad just save uh, save this here this is the slab uh, layout this is slab layout and this will be saved in autocad in the xf format and this one you can also save this right slab this one will be slab schedule slab slab schedule and you can see the short span long span and top reinforcement also you can find out so if you want to see the in plan detailing you can also see the in plan detailing which you can also give in your project drawings also this is very important you can see s1 and in plane drawings you have here right so if you want to see the sections as well let me just save this one slab layout and just give two layout two and if you want to see the sections as well slab section and number of slab one and slab number let's go s1 and lxly it will take automatically edge short and click on draw so left support so left support is, is the size of the columns so mm in it this 300 and this is the left support left support mark okay that is the left support mark so mm, just see the s1 left support mark i think uh, let's do cancel that and see it first 
let's go to mark let's say c1 or a b c you can give you anything okay so go to report and go to slab section number of section 1 slab s1 lxl it will take automatically as let's give uh, let's take the uh, you know section for the short uh, side suppose a and now suppose support here 300 and depth also uh, depth actually it is the depth of the uh, you know column or say can give anything so let's skip 300 300 is actually the size of the column and uh, reinforcement support mark b and right side support mark is b and right side support you know this also 300 into 300 let's skip okay depth 300 and section mark just a draw so we can see the you know drawing of the slab so since the spacing is very less that's, that's, that's why it's come like this but you can see basically this is the bottom uh, you know this layer and this is the layer above this this rods and this is layer is 8 t at the directory 275 center to center and the top reinforcement uh, your length is also given okay so 2 way 150 mm thickness it is given like this so now uh, this is one way and if you want here uh, bbs also we can generate the bbs also and here uh, another thing general arrangement plan let's see the general arrangement plan which is shown here okay so now let's unlock the design yeah unlock the design and if you want to go to settings and suppose you want bent up parts right so just click on ok and everything is same we'll just design using bent up parts so we'll see reports we'll see general arrangement plan and we'll also see the uh, let's say the slab section in, in plan detailing also we'll see so you can see this is the arrangement of the bent up part so you can see this right so in the this is the implant detailing for the bent up part and you can also see the section also reports and slab section just click on this one section will need slab let's go s1 again and lxly sorry s1 click lxly take automatically and type short long you can just uh, take here support mark a right support mark b and again 300 is 300 is the column and section mark let's go to right draw so you can see this is the arrangement for the bent up bars so like this you can save this file as well just save this in the and it will be saved in the autocad so like this you can find out the uh, you know drawings for the slab and bbs settings you can see factors you can set the factors here and you can just click on generate bbs and it will just click on generate so it will take some time depending upon your file and you can see uh, this is the slab and this is the bbs here so if the detail shapes and you have the detailed bbs also and in here you have the bar dia quantity so 8 mm dia total uh, you know length and weight length in meter and weight in kg so you will find here so you can easily order the rear bars for the slab from this you know if you order the length of the order with K kg or weight you can order both uh, from this so this is very useful uh, feature in rcdc which you can use so you can also import from etab and also do the same and you can also import from stad and do the same so, the, so that's all for this video uh, drop a like if you like th this type of content keep learning bye bye